Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. It's starting to get a little cold outside. So I said I was going to originally do a breakdown on what baits and what rods and what tackle box I'm using as of now. And there has been a lot of changes. But before we start, I just want to go over one quick thing. I noticed I have a lot of non-subscribers watching the channel and won't hit that subscribe button I'm not putting any information or any links in the details until those those watchers start subscribing so I'm gonna tell you what I'm using but there will be no links as of right now I won't be putting any links on any of these lures the rods the box I will name them but I will not put the links until the viewers match the subscribers. It's 75% to 25% as of right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button, especially with all the information that I'm gonna be trying to give when it comes to finding lures, what lures to use, what rods I use, what reels I'm using. I like sharing my experience. <clears throat> so with further ado, I am going to go, or should I say in my bag, this is Shimano Black Moon. I know some of you guys watched some of the older videos, I did go over it and I said that I was going to modify it. So the very first modification that I, only modification that I actually did was take out, there was some three ring binder plastic holders or something like that. And I didn't like that idea. So now that I am strictly bait finesse fishing. I remove those and put trays. These are Capella's Bass Pro Shops. I want to say they're 3,500. Yep, 3,500 tray. Um. First, before we get into these boxes or these trays, I am going to show you what the line I'm using on my reels. Right now, mainly because I'm fishing the river and not doing any like real tournament type stuff, I'm using Vanish as my leader, eight pound test. I uh, put my Tetsu stuff up um, this was a rod tip guide basically explaining to me what size rod component I needed because I actually broke two of the tips of my rods I know <sighs> expensive rods man I hate when that happens but yeah vanish Nano fill. Hopefully that this can show up. This is nano fill 14. This is on my conquest. And then nano fill 10 pound is on my scorpion and my alder bearing. I have been saying in some of the videos that I needed an alder bearing to catch up with the slack, and I finally got it. Also, before I get into these, um, <clears throat> the snap swivels I use a KVD Mustad 25 pound test. They're pretty small. You can see those. Got a couple of packs, and then I have 140 for my two Scorpion DCs that I turned into a semi bait for this style. But these are the 40s, they're a little bit bigger for the Mega Bash jerk baits, the 110 Visions, and stuff like that.
first box. The first box. I tell you what worked so far for me and what didn't. And I'm gonna start at the very bottom down here. Bottom left. Oh, bottom right. Probably your left. Um. I'm gonna to torture some of these words. I know I am. Uh, Terra works. Poco, Poco. And it says floating, so there must be a sinking model. I think there is a sinking model. If you can see this. So I, I was throwing this at one point. I throw these when I'm not getting any fish at all. I downsize on the top water pop just to see if there are actually any fish in the area. If I don't get any bites on these, I'll, I'll, I'll actually leave the area uh, when it comes to top water. If it's like current or eddies or a lot of rocks, I would stick with the top water. Then I bought some really even smaller ones off of Amazon. They aren't Poco, they're just some cheap like knockoff trout ones. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really small. I should have bought my scale down here to show you how much each of these things weigh, but I didn't. But they're really light. And I got snap bean by your Azuri. Sinking. I'm assuming there must be a floating model to this. I'm gonna do a little research and look into that. And see then I got these guys from Euro tackle the Viber it has a rattle in that little thing it's about the size of a nickel maybe with a little hook on the back I got some in different colors Glow in the dark one. I see the little weight in front of this one, the way this one's made. And the little rattle, so that's pretty cool. Then I got an even smaller one, which feels a little bit heavier. This one's probably for more for ice fishing. Something I don't do, but I do fish with these for bluegills and ponds, crappies. Then I have another see-through one. See how this one's made out there indeed underneath. And then the little weight on the inside to make it heavier than the actual bigger ones. Then I have Lucky Crap. Okay, it's in Japanese. I'm gonna need a Lore ID off of anybody who's watching. I know it's Lucky Craft. I think it's Lucky Craft. What well, might be, uh, it's, definitely not, it's definitely not River to Sea. They have a version of it as well. These might be River to Sea. But this is definitely Japanese. It has Japanese writing on the bottom. And I haven't used those. But off that first row, since what I've showed you so far, Pocos have been my go-to's. Now the next row, middle lineup, is a custom painted. I painted this one. A custom painted micro bin fin. I can't find these anymore. Blank. This has been. This was my go-to for the longest. My dad actually uh, caught his personal best smallmouth on a bluegill version like this. I think I may have a video of it coming up that I'm working on. Yeah, so the guy that you see in the background with the hat on, that's my dad. He turned 76 today. <laughs> 76 and he's still running around. 
it's a good thing. Here, the baby Gyron. It's sinking, slow sinking. I don't trust it on the river. I haven't used it anywhere else. I'm gonna definitely try it next year. Get it in the water, give it some runs with the rest of the stuff. I know you guys seen these. The Game Crab 70 Jointed Claw Floating. These things, man, they are uh, suspended. It says floating, but like if you twitch it and get it like to a certain level in the water, just a little bit below the surface, it will definitely glide from left to right. I actually like these a lot. I can't throw them on the river where I usually fish at. Also speaking about the river, man, this year has been crazy. Everyone knows it's COVID. Um, every time I go fishing somewhere and I go back to go back to that area, it has posted signs up because I guess everyone's trying to just find somewhere to fish. And a lot of people just don't want that headache of maybe somebody falling in trying to sue them. It's understandable, man. So I'm not too mad about that. But yep, most of my videos are that area on the river because it has not only different elements, it has a ton of different species of fish there. So like right now, walleye are coming up in there and stripers, which is weird. I've been seeing people catch stripers out of there. We have uh, catfish, largemouth bass, which I was shocked about, caught a few of those. Smallmouth, of course, I caught a rock bass, bluegills, uh, what's that, fallfish. Um, but yeah, that area holds a lot of different species. But this lure that I'm holding in my hand, it's called a Lucky Crab B Freeze SP. 65. I've thrown it a few times. It's caught smallmouth. It's actually starting to peel. If you don't have this in your box, definitely should put it in there. If you're one of the bait finesse guys, or if you're standard fishing, it, it'll, it'll get out there. It's got a little bit of weight on it. There's two different colors. I don't remember the names of them. Don't get mad at me. But I will eventually put the links in for you to subscribe. There's a lot of lures that go over. Man. The Eurozord 10 Minnow. I'm going to kind of try to speed this up too. The Eurozord 10 Minnow. At first, I didn't think this thing would work. Especially being how big the hooks are. They're really out there, like out there, like... When I first threw them, like a fish is gonna see this and just like, nah, too much going on. And as soon as I threw it, they hit it. It's actually been one of my go-tos as of late, especially with it being colder outside. This is a floating model. They are suspended and sinking. I snap this really hard as I can to get it down. Let it just slowly float back to the top. I caught a couple of bass the other day in the cold one. I was shocked. I lost a really big fish on lake that same day on that lure. These are also really, really good to have. They're called Spearhead. Ryuki Spearhead F. I also have Spearhead S for sinking. This is a size 50. Crappy bass, bluegills, walleye. I've caught all of those on this. This right here is probably my best box. I mean, well, the box that I would usually look into the most, mainly because of this fella, Rosente 63F. If I am not catching anything at all, 
this is definitely getting put on. It has a weight transfer that you can always hear when you cast it, but I can't make it do it right now. It must have to be. It has to be cast. Because it makes a tapping noise and it scares me every time. I'm thinking that I'm hit the ground. The rod tip hit the ground or the Lord tip because I I sidearm when I cast. And then it's this one see-through that sends that ball to the back weight transfer and then it comes flying back to the front. I can hear it when it taps. That's a trout color, see-through. This is like a bluegill. That's one box and there's seven more to go. Seven more to go, seven more to go. This box is Cabela. I like the Cabela box, by the way, better than the Bass Pro Shop box. It's way more see-through. You can see through this one a lot better than this one. <clears throat> I'm gonna eventually get my dad a different box and probably give him those uh, Bass Pro Shop ones and I'm gonna keep these Cabela ones. But in this box, my right, probably your left, I have some trout spins, rooster tails. <clears throat> I just recently started using, mainly because it's cold outside and it's trout season. So I'm gonna target some trout. Never caught well, let me rephrase that. Yeah, I've never banked the trout. I caught one, hooked him, but I've never got him in completely. <clears throat> and there's the bigger versions that I put off to the side because I didn't open them yet. It says for uh, big bass pack, heavier, of course. And they threw a bonus in there. Then I got some micro chatter baits that I put in a couple of them. I'm gonna get a box dedicated to some micro chatter baits. Here's the blue. I think it only comes in four colors as of right now too. This blue black, chartreuse, chartreuse with some like uh, crappy dots in it and then a solid white. I only have the blue, black, and the sartreuse right now. And also from Euro Tackle, there's a paddle tail called B Vibe that works perfect with these. I'm gonna show you those as well, or show you one on the sartreuse one once we get to it. Here are some Lucky Craft Pointer SP. I wanna say these might be a 35 or 43. It doesn't say the number on them, but they are small. And these are suspended and I have not attempted to throw these yet. I don't know what I'm thinking. I know the cold, these things will work in the cold water. See through. I want to say that color is called uh, AU. Is how they say it, maybe? It's AYU. I probably said it wrong. Don't kill me. And of course, the sexy shad color. And of course, some Spearhead 60s sinking models. The water got up uh, probably about four weeks ago. It rained in New York. And when it rains up there a lot, it gets the river up down here. And I think it's at four feet now. That's probably a, a high for us because this year's rain was really bad. We didn't get much at all. But when it gets up, it speeds up the river, so 
I had to grab a couple of these so that they don't get swept away so quickly. And the next lure, which I actually bought a bunch I found on the site for way below the price that they were selling them at everywhere else. Bass Pro Shop and stuff. This is the Rapella X Wrap size four. And it's in two trays. I bought a lot of them. I want to say 20 in total. I haven't thrown them that much, but the size six, which is not in this in this box at all, which was my go-to for the longest on my bigger stuff. So I'm like, I'm gonna try these and see how they work. But yep, that's a size four. Of course, I bought a Rebel Crawl Crank. I haven't tried this one yet. I just recently got it. I'm getting prepared for the spring. I don't think anything's going to hit this during the winter time. But if it does, and you guys know something, leave a message in the comments. Definitely. I guess I'll use these in faster moving current because they're pretty heavy. And they are called the Lucky Craft Snacky 23 or 32. Snacky S is what it says on the bottom. This one says Snacky ES. I don't know. One feels heavier than the other. Let's see. This one's lighter. No? Same. I know they're both. sinking models because I got them for the faster moving creeks this is my sinking box now that I look at it so I'm, I'm assuming these but they say suspended hmm not a hundred percent sure we'll find out because I haven't used them because I have some spearhead 50 sinking like I was saying earlier these untangled 50F no 50S sorry sinking faster moving current these are some next lore is a Bass Pro Shop XPS I just grabbed a couple of them box fillers best but I haven't used them or have I a little bit of moss on one of them looks like I may have used one of them but yeah these are $2.99 or $3.99 little minnow XPS it's a Bass Pro Shop bait next box it's got little cranks little square bills in here This is called the Lucky Craft Clutch MR. Or is this the DR? Because one of them's got a big wheel. Nope, this is the MR. The Lucky Craft Clutch MR. I haven't thrown these yet. I'm actually looking forward to throwing them. I know someone said the trust was square bills for trout. I'm not 100% sure. I'm really new to trout, so I'm looking forward to trying for some trout. Here's another color. I'm not going to pull all of these out. I actually got a couple of trays. It's about two, four, six. Yep, two, four, six. And here is... The micro chatterbait. 
got that little tiny paddle tail on there. It's called a B Vibe by Euro Tackle. I actually had, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, a Palomalu trout. It's orange, gold, and yellow. A little, he had to be over two feet for short. I threw everything at him, everything in the kitchen sink. And then I finally threw this and this is what he chased. But because the creek was so shallow and I couldn't slow it down, he couldn't make it to it in time. And he seen me and he turned around and went back. And man, I probably should have kept throwing this the entire time. That's an upcoming video as well. Me trying for trout. Here are some Bass Pro Shop. It just says XPS on the package. It doesn't say what the name of them are. I lost a monster walleye on one of these. It's a cheap lure. It's like four bucks. Sinking. I got it in this like creek minnow something color. Don't get me a line. And then I also got them in fire. Then red with black specks with a uh, foil, foiling material underneath to give it that sh flickering shimmy look. Raw tip glue, color countdown. Is This is a heavy, small crank. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Definitely got a little bit of weight. I wanna say this thing's probably about four grams. I could be wrong, but it feels heavy. Just probably because of how solid and condensed it is and compact. I got them in a trout color. I've seen a, a friend of mine on Facebook using these for trout. And he caught like a seven, eight pound bass. And it made me buy four or five of them off of uh, eBay, actually. They were almost a lot. You can buy like a lot. And that's what they call them when you get like five to six. But yeah, good lore. I should be using in lakes, slow, deeper water. But the next lore, discontinued. I stopped by Bass Pro Shop and they're gone. I can't even find them. I don't know what the name of them are. This is a lore ID I really need. If anybody knows the name of this lore, I'll uh, shoot you something, maybe. Yeah, actually not even maybe, I will. I will shoot you a lure. I will shoot you a lure if you tell me exactly what this is. Give me the link and I can find them and buy them. I'll send you something special. I'll send you something special because I lost a monster two, three days ago. I tapped it a couple times, nothing was biting, it was freezing outside. I don't know what made me go out, probably just to try out these lures, man. And something bit it, and I thought it was a log. And I slowly brought him to the top, and once, I guess he seen me, and I seen him, he splashed and let it go. <sighs> disappointed, very disappointed, but yeah. I went back to Bass Pro Shop two days ago looking for different colors and they were sold out. And he said they're discontinued. They have a different model now, which is four inches and I don't want four inches. I need this 2.7 or this 2.5. Definitely need that. So yeah, but guys, nope. Definitely, definitely tell me. The next box is some Rapella Shad Wrap? Is this what this is? If y'all know what this is, tell me. It's a Shad Wrap, I think. I could be wrong. I'm gonna find out. Here's the thing about these lures. The only thing that I don't like is these eyes. Like they just like paint them on. I like the uh
these style eyes. I like those style eyes. And here is, oh shoot, I have a white mini Chatterbait. I didn't know I had that. Yeah, that's just in the second slot to the very bottom, a white and then a white chartreuse minis. Hmm. I have some B vibes and white. I'm gonna put those on. Next tray, I have some bleeding. Striking micro spinner baits. I like these too. Throw those 